Zilla coming at you with another War Thunder video. Today's video, we're going to do some casemate tank destroying action. Now, the Panzer 470 is a very strong vehicle at 5.3. I was playing with Kreenak yesterday, however, and we were running into some up tiers against T26 E1s. And I tell you what, oh my god, man. If I could only take out my T26 like that, my Super Pershing, and get down tiered to 5.3, I'd be I'd be ecstatic because that 90 millimeter cannon can just absolutely rock everything. I I just don't understand. Every time I take this damn thing out, the T26 E1. Every time I take this flipping thing out. I'm constantly up tiered in the shit that I don't even want to be playing against. But man, these guys were top tier. There was nothing Kreenak or myself could do against them. Let's hope that I don't get dropped into a 6.3 match as Germany. Because there will be nothing I could do against them unless I get them from the side. But anyways, we're here to talk about the 75mm Pack 42 cannon. This thing packs a punch. Absolutely it does. It's super strong. Um, can deal with everything at its battle rating. And the armor on this thing is super freaking trolly. Now APDS does you know, tend to do a lot of damage to you. Um, 90 millimeter cannons all across the board will absolutely wreck you. Go right through here. Um, but other than that, everything else... Should have a good time. Just put a little little angle, little angling on it, and you should be good. We're looking at a negative five gun depression, though. That's uh, it's not all that great, but it's such a low profile. You get it into a little crevasse, haha, <laughs> crevasse, and uh, you're good. Puts the angle up, and you're kind of looking at a little wedge, kind of like the Swedish wedge. That'll be coming to the channel soon. It's, I, I've seen them out and about. They look really interesting. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Wish me luck. Oh, Mr. T-34, you got the same idea I got. Boom! Boom! Got his engine. Ah, oh, bomb, you suck. Ooh, he's on it. Not that time, buddy. God, I love that sparking. There's something right through here. Let's see if we can get pick up one more and then what we'll, you know what, we'll go ahead and just angle this way. There he is. M18 too. Boom! Damn it. There are just M18s all over the damn place now, aren't there? 
These guys are oblivious. Oh, guacamole. That a miss. There we go. Guys, there's not much I can do in a freaking TD. Dang it, guys. Please, I need help here. Keep throwing up Chungus in front of us. We're gonna lose. <laughs> the teams are definitely struggling. There's only so much I can personally do in a TD. Now granted, that last one I just kind of sniped away on. This one I'm going to try and get. Hopefully I don't get shot coming out of here. You don't see me. No one wants to help? Thank you. Gosh, dang it. Push out too far, Tiger. We can hold this angle and we're good. To the base. 
don't even see these chuckleheads. He's shooting heat. Well, I guess I did do the Panzer 470 some justice this time around. Um, just the thing is, when you're playing a TD, I mean, there's not a lot you can do other than snipe. Maybe use your traversal rate with your tracks to try and get, you know, shots on target but for the most part you're just more of a support role vehicle and uh, you got to try and play the part and sometimes it works for you sometimes your team is doing what it needs to do and sometimes your team doesn't do what it needs to do but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you all in the next one laters